said you can follow that ECRL down the side brachial radialis all the way down the forearm until it dives deeper to the outcropper muscles about two thirds of the way down the forearm. Have you guys heard of intersection syndrome? Yes, sort of. When two tendons cross over each other, okay, like the outcropper muscles of the thumb on the dorsal part of the forearm and the extensor tendons as they come through. Whenever two tendons go like this, there's a chance that there can be there can be some frictional irritation between the coverings of the tendons and therefore the tendons themselves. That can cause some fibrotic change. The tendons kind of get bound down together and people get pain when they try and move both of those tendons at the same time. So for intersection syndrome in the back of the forearm, people can get this when they're doing sort of very dexterous tasks or things with fine control of their fingers or computer work all the way up to manual labor and doing heavier lifting and that sort of thing. So people say it's like this area, and they'll say it kind of feels deep in my forearm, and it's this achy, burny feeling when I move my wrist or when I lift my briefcase or when I'm on the computer using my mouse or something like that. So with your perpendicular palpation skills, We get in through the muscle belly and along the tendon of ECRL, find where it goes underneath the outcroppers, and see using your tissue tension technique. Put your fingers in both different planes, move everything around, and see if you can appreciate an area where there's some binding between those two tendons, and then you have a target area for your therapy. Right? You see that relatively commonly, it happens sometimes. Um, what we're going to do in a second when we come up this way and come off ECRL, then we're going to differentiate from extensor digit because it moves the fingers around, right? But for now, just stay.